Well, hello everybody, and this is going to be sort of an update video to the video I did previously about a month ago. So if you haven't seen that video, I recommend you go watch it so you get a better idea of what, I'm, what I've been trying to do here. But anyway, you can see here we have a package. Before we get to that though, just a little recap. Uh, I did get a, um, you know, I tried to convert SCART to component, that's what I was trying to do before. Uh, but I was having some problems with the pitcher, and we concluded that the problem was probably the box. My TV was probably just not handling that low resolution very well through component. So the seller was nice enough to allow me to send the box back and give me a full refund. So that's what I did, and then I used that money to buy this, which was only a few dollars more than what that box cost. I also got a SCART selector box, which I may not need anymore, but we'll get more into that later. So this is the SCART selector box I got, and also a just a regular SCART cable, and that's it. So anyway, enough of that, let's get into this box and see what's inside. It's all wrapped up like this. Hmm. Let's see. Alright. Be very careful when opening. It's best to try to avoid your fingers. Hmm. Very dangerous. Be careful with knives. Oh wow, it looks like he double wrapped it. Wow. I can't believe how I can't believe how wrapped up this thing is. We're getting there. Look at that. That is a very nice box. It says HD Universal up there. It's very reflective. Every simple day, and this is basically what it is. SCART and S Video to HDMI 1080 by this company here. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Okay, so we'll just tear this seal. And we should be able to lift it right up. So let's get it going. Let's lift it up. Ta da! So we have some instructions. Yeah. HD Universal. SCART and S video with audio to HDMI. So obviously you know what this does. This will convert the SCART signal to HDMI. It will also scale it. <laughs> we'll scale it to an HD resolution. It's introduction. So it's C-O-O-S-I-S. So that's either Coasis or Cousis. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's probably one of those. Faded ink there. Alright. To convert and upscale analog audio and video signals to a digital HDMI format. And you can read all this yourself if you want to. It comes with a remote as well. That's what, the, that's what the back of the box looks like. You have your SCART in, your S video in and your HDMI out. And this is in what looks like Spanish. So, there we go. And here is the box itself. This is HD Universal. This is the front. You got your buttons here for your menu and your up and your down. It's the on-off light, and on the back here, 
you got your SCART input, your S video input, your left and right audio in, and your left and right audio out, and your HDMI out. So this will allow me to take that SCART signal from my game systems and will this will upscale it to 1080p or 720 and it will output it through HDMI and you can also do that with S video as well which which is on <laughs> which is a real added bonus and we got some other things in here Let's see in here we have the remote as well as an American power supply or a power plug yeah, this is a very nice box in the way this is very nice packaging yep. and this is the power plug that comes with it so you just for us American users we just plug this in here and we can plug that into a to a power plug that's over here, standard 120. This I believe is this I believe is 220 or something. So this is the this is the power plug for it. And the remote. So I assume it has batteries already in it. So you can control this with just the remote. So this is so this would be pretty neat. I've been very excited to get this. Uh, this only cost sixty dollars. You can still buy it on eBay as of this recording. I think I have like two left. Um, so again, this will allow me to take the SCART. This will allow me to take that SCART cable from those game systems and connect them into here like that. And then I can hook up my HDMI to my TV, and that will allow you to play your classic game systems in a modern resolution on your HD TV. And hopefully this will work great. And it's not the cable that I got that's the problem. Uh, but I have better hopes for this. And also keep in mind with HDMI, you no longer need an extra. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to buy a special SCAR cable that has audio connections on it, and you also don't need something like this to get audio out of it either, because HDMI also carries audio through your through the same wire. So this is definitely the way to go if you want to hook up your classic retro systems to an HD TV. But anyway, enough talking. I am going to hook this up, and I will show you some test footage of what it's going to look like. So I will see you then. Alright everyone, this is what it looks like on your screen when you have the box powered on but no signal going through it. It just rotates through these different colored backgrounds and that's all it does. I have already tested uh, some systems and I'm happy to say that most of them work. The Saturn works, the PlayStation 2 works, the Dreamcast, however, does not work. Uh, the box reads it as a PAL system, and it does not display a picture. So, I might have to use S-Video with the Dreamcast still. Uh, but that's why I got this box, because it has, not only does it have a SCART input, but it also has an S-Video input, which I was going to use for the GameCube anyway. Because the GameCube does not support SCART here in America. Um, the the American GameCube does not output SCART. It will output component, but those cables are very expensive. So the cheapest way is just to use use S video cables. And that's what I have hooked up right now. And so I can switch this And as we can see here, it comes on and displays perfectly. We have Animal Crossing in here.
and there you have it. It displays just fine. No problems at all. So we'll turn that off and switch back to SCART. Now the box does have options you can adjust. The remote is kind of unresponsive unfortunately. It You press some buttons and nothing happens. Uh, so, I'm, so I'm disappointed in that. Uh, but it's uh, but you are able to bring up the menu most of the time. This is the this is the picture menu. Uh, you can you can adjust the brightness, which I think is a little too high, and you can adjust the contrast, which I think is also a little too high, and the color and the tint, which I think might be a little off. But you can go through these and fine tune them to your liking. And like right now, I'm pressing this button, but nothing's changing. So. So, um, so yeah, unfortunately the remote is kind of unresponsive. It's best just to use the buttons on the box itself. And there's also a, there's also buttons on the remote to, to change the aspect ratio from 16 by 9 to 4 by 3 and so forth. Uh, but I press them and nothing seems to happen. So this is the PlayStation 2. It works fine. Um, though you gotta remember to go into your system configuration and change it from... You gotta put it to RGB. So you have to put it on RGB if you're using SCART. Uh, but the picture though still looks kind of still kind of off tint you know like it's kind of, kind of a yellowish greenish tint to it still um, it's not terrible but it but I don't know it might just be my display but um so I may have to fine tune some more you know like I can go into the menu again and change the tint But I don't know if it really changes much, really. Okay, and here we have the Sega Saturn on right now. Um, the uh, I mean, once again, this you know looks fine, but it does have some maybe slight discoloration still, some slight tint issues. And once again, you bring up the menu, and you know I could try to adjust of a tint and stuff but I really don't think it's going to change anything it might be changing it a little bit you know but I don't think it's really fixing it at all it doesn't appear to be a whole lot of difference really Uh, but I'll just leave it at these settings for now and see if that yeah, see if that works good for now but anyhow um, I mean this box does have potential I do think it's better than the component box uh, just because it has S video as well and it also outputs you know through HDMI and also scales it you know to 720p or 1080p which the other box did not do any of those so anyway, um, so this has been some uh, some test footage of this box. I might do some more later. I might do some gameplay footage through this box of some game in the future. But for right now, though, if you find this box, I recommend getting it. Uh, though if you do see another box that also scales SCAR to HDMI, get that as well. I do recommend going that route rather than going the component route. That is, unless you have a CRT TV that has component inputs, maybe then you can just get the component box. But otherwise, if you're trying to hook up SCART to an HD TV, you know, use the HDMI option. But anyhow, uh, that'll be all for now, so I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.